Now there was a story, the woman was called Michelle Cassone and she became the absolute centerpiece of the William Kennedy Smith alleged rape in uh, Palm Beach. Now she made herself so available to the press, uh, every time she opened a refrigerator door, she, as soon as the light went on she did a time step. And it was rumoured that she was going to do a spread for Penthouse, uh, a rumour she spread herself. Of course, when confronted with that, she said, I would never, ever in my life pose nude. Whereupon it just so happened, I had some very revealing pictures of her. Uh, I said, are you sure? Now, to be fair, as opposed to objective, I said, are you sure you've never posed nude? Never. You don't know my family. If you knew my family, you would know that's not in my upbringing. Three times I asked the question, are you sure you've never posed nude? Absolutely, I swear to God. Whereupon, I revealed some pictures to her. Now, what happened next? Um, you may say it's playing a little bit of dirty pool, but she sets herself up as a paragon of virtue. That paragon had to be shattered in the eyes of the world because, after all, she was the woman who was saying that Senator Ted, Ted Kennedy was walking around semi-naked. So if she can say that about a senator, she should be confronted with her lie. I showed her pictures of her being nude. In fact, pictures of her doing a little bit more than just being nude. What happened was very amusing. She went absolutely berserk. Michelle Cassone would be about five foot four, five foot three. I've been hit by people who are six foot five who didn't hit me as hard as she did. She bit my finger, she punched me, she kicked me, she kneed me. Now, as a reporter, you can't run away. As a man, you can't hit her back. So there I was, just taking punches, kicks, and two gigantic bites that got me right to the bone. Very amusing. As a matter of fact, I think that was probably one of the highest rated shows that uh, ever rated in the particular show I was doing at that time. Now, did I ever feel sorry for Michelle Cassone? Yes, I did. Um, particularly when I found that there was a root of her problem and it was alcoholism. Not so much alcoholism as the way we... <laughs> I can't so let this go. <laughs> Michelle Cassone, okay. Well, the bottom line in the case of Michelle Cassone, back to the point that she chose the role to bring down a senator. I chose the role to test her credibility. Uh, for me to go up to her and say, here are these pictures, you better fess up, is a little bit like a prosecutor or a defense attorney telling the witnesses beforehand the questions they're going to ask them. And sad for Michelle, but at least to some degree re-established Senator Edward Kennedy's reputation, not that I'm a great fan of Senator Edward Kennedy, and it was a bit of a wake-up call for Michelle because later on she went to rehab, and I'm happy to report she's doing very, very well. I've spoken three or four times since. We laugh about the incident, uh, not that it was a laughing matter at the time. The wounds on my fingers and the rest of my body, which is unspeakable, uh, attest to um, just how good she was when it came to uh, throwing punches and biting fingers.